following is a paid program for Passionist Communications. Welcome everyone to our celebration of the Sunday Mass today, a ministry of the Passionist community. As always, my name is Father Paul. It is November 10th, the 32nd Sunday in Ordinary Time. Our presider today is Father Michael Green, who is the vicar here of the Immaculate Conception Passionist community. He's also a member of the Bishop McLaurie Retreat Team, which is also on the property. So if you have your prayer guide, take it out. Turn it to page 61, and let us begin our celebration. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. May the grace and peace of God our Father, the love of Jesus, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. Amen. We come together to celebrate this Mass. Our Gospel speaks to us of eternal life, that God created us to be with Him, to be able to share the joys that He has created us for. For the times that we might have forgotten that, Times we might have strayed, we ask God's pardon and peace. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord of mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ of mercy. Christ have mercy. And you intercede for us at the right hand of the Father, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. And let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, graciously keep from us, keep us from all adversity, so that unhindered in mind and body alike, we may pursue in freedom of heart the things that are yours. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second book of Maccabees. It happened that seven brothers with their mother were arrested and tortured with whips and scourges by the king to force them to eat pork in violation of God's law. One of the brothers, speaking for the others, said, what do you expect to achieve by questioning us? We are ready to die rather than transgress the laws of our ancestors. At the point of death, he said, you accursed fiend, you are depriving us of this present life, but the king of the world will raise us up to live again forever. It is for his laws that we are dying. After him, the third suffered their cool sport, he put out his tongue at once when told to do so and bravely held out his hands as he spoke these noble words. It was from heaven that I received these. For the sake of his laws, I disdained them. From him, I hope to receive them again. Even the king and his attendants marveled at the young man's courage because he regarded his sufferings as nothing. After he had died, they tortured and maltreated the fourth brother in the same way. 
When he was near death, he said, it is my choice to die at the hands of men with the hope God gives of being raised up by him. But for you, there will be no resurrection to life. The word of the Lord. Lord, when your glory appears, my joy will be full. Lord, when your glory appears, my joy will be full. O oh Lord, hear a cause that is just, pay heed to my cry. Turn your ear to my prayer. No deceit is on my lips. Lord, when your glory appears, my joy will be A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, may our Lord Jesus Christ himself and God our Father, who has loved us and given us everlasting encouragement and good hope through his grace, encourage your hearts and strengthen them in every good deed and word. Finally, brothers and sisters, pray for us so that the word of the Lord may speed forward and be glorified as it did among you, and that we may be delivered from perverse and wicked people, for not all have faith. But the Lord is faithful. He will strengthen you and guard you from the evil one. We are confident of you in the Lord that what we instruct you, you are doing and will continue to do. May the Lord direct your hearts to the love of God and to the endurance of Christ. The word of the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. I wait for the Lord, my soul. For his word. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Some Sadducees those who deny that, that there is a resurrection came forward. Jesus said to them, the children of this age marry and remarry, but those who are deemed worthy to attain to the coming age and to the resurrection of the dead neither marry nor are given in marriage. They can no longer die, for they are like angels, and they are the children of God because they are the ones who will rise. That the dead will rise, even Moses made known in the passage about the bush, when he called out, Lord, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. And he is not the God of the dead, but of the living, for to him all are alive. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus. 
Jesus Christ. There's a Christian author, John Eldridge, who I enjoy reading. Because one of the perspectives that he gives is to read the Gospels like you never read them before. Time and again, we get caught up, and if somebody says, there was a man who has two sons, you're going to say, yeah, that's the prodigal son story, Z. But one of the things about it is, what would it be like if you never heard the Gospel? You didn't know the ending, and you were following God's work, or you were following Jesus, and like the first time you ever heard it. And that's what I invite you to with these two readings from the, fir the first in the gospel today. You see, it's a long reading. The Maccabees are fighting against anybody who is denying them their love of God, their temple worship. And they're trying to remain true to the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob the tradition, but they're losing. So Matheton and his sons have been captured. Seven sons and the mother. And you see that each of them are going before the um, emperor and they're losing because they're going to be killed for their faith. But one of the things that makes it interesting is that they have what it takes to be able to say, no, I'm not going to do this. I'm going to be true to my religion. Somewhere along the line, they were taught, and their gift of faith says, I'm going to remain true, even though one by one, they all die. In the gospel today, we see just the opposite. We see the Sadducees coming to Jesus and saying, okay. Let me tell you a story, Mr. Jesus. And he goes, they have this convoluted story about seven guys marry, seven guys die, and whose wife are they are in, the res in your resurrection. And Jesus said, you're very much mistaken. You don't understand. One of the things that we have to look at is how we read the gospel, how we believe in God. Are you going to be courageous in your faith? Are you going to be a critic? What does this mean? How does this affect me? Leave me alone. It's the same thing as saying, are you sacred or are you scared? Scared of the consequences, scared of belonging to God. It's just one different word, a C and an A, that a switch, sacred or scared. God calls us to so much more. And now coming together as our meeting Jesus and believing in the resurrection of the dead and life everlasting, what we're called to do is to be able to have that hope that God is with us, that God will protect us, and God will give us our reward. So we live every day with trust, with hope, and share that belief and hope and love with other people. Because sometimes people don't know and sometimes people don't care. So as we go our way, what we're called to do is be on the side of the angels, to believe in God and to say yes to all the many things that God has to offer us. God cares for all in need. So we ask God to hear our prayers this day. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all veterans, living and deceased. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for Pope Francis and all in leadership, that the wisdom and grace of God's presence will guide their every decision and action. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear we pray for the intentions of our benefactors, the intentions of our television parishioners that will be placed next to the altar, and for C. Roland, Catherine Ott, and Josephine Halski, 
for whom we pray in a special way at this Mass. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. Gracious God, your care and concern is everlasting. Receive our prayers and respond to them out of your merciful love. Through Christ our Lord. my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands with the praise and glory of his name for our good and for the cause of all the church. Look with favor, we pray, O Lord, upon the sacrificial gifts offered here, that, celebrating the mystery, the passion of your Son, we may honor it with loving devotion. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory. As with one voice, we acclaim, Indeed, holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. 
we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Nicholas our Bishop and all the clergy and religious. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace and love be with you always. And with your spirit. And let us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Peace, Rob. Thank you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to be shown to my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be. Death shall not destroy my comfort, Christ shall lead me through the gloom. Down he'll send some heavenly convoy to escort my spirit home. Hallelujah, how I love my Savior. Oh, hallelujah, yes I do. Oh, hallelujah, how I love my Savior. Mourners, you can love him too. See the happy spirit. 
Let us pray. Nourished by this sacred gift, O Lord, we give you thanks and beseech your mercy that by the pouring forth of your spirit, the grace of integrity may endure in those your heavenly power has entered. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. To love you with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. Thank you, everyone, for joining us today in our celebration of the Sunday Mass. A special thanks to Father Michael uh, for leading us in prayer and to the, our friends here at the Immaculate Conception Parish for joining us and helping us to pray and to celebrate. Tomorrow is Veterans Day, uh, so uh, we'd like to send out a thank you to all those who have served our country in a very faithful way. And we would like to remember in a special way all those who gave the ultimate gift of their life in service of our country. If you see a veteran tomorrow or if you see a service person tomorrow, thank them for their service. Uh, the new prayer guide is in the mail, uh, the 95th volume of the prayer guide. If you haven't received it yet or you've never received it, please let us know either through the website by giving us a call or sending us a note through the mail. Please continue to send in your intentions for November, uh, for all souls, and for Thanksgiving. Um, as I've told you the last couple of weeks, we're making that change on uh, December 8th uh, to a new channel, the Up TV channel. We will no longer be on Freeform, so uh, hopefully you're doing your homework and finding it on your cable network so that our transition will be seamless. We'll be on at the usual time at 6.30. Have a great week, everyone. Until we meet next Sunday, may the passion of Jesus Christ be always in your heart. Seating was a paid program for passionist communications.